Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. In this video, we are going to discuss about the recent trending AI tool. So many of you may also aware about this particular AI tool talk, talk called Duke AI. So launched by Elon Musk. So there are many of the our fellow uh, that is chatbot analyzers are comparing group A with chat GPT and many other data A databases. So let us go on to today's video and explore the group A. So and see uh, how it will be useful for our research paper writing and we will give some, some research prompts and let us see how it will generating answer for us. So before that an important announcement from our channel is that we are going to conduct an online workshop on AC and DC microgrid modeling with PV, wind and battery system. So the main objective of this workshop is to familiarize you all with different uh, the, that is microgrid operations and also that PV wind uh, and then battery uh, operations. We are going to implement maximum power point tracking in PV and wind system. After that we are going to connect it with AC microgrid. So these are the important things we are going to discuss in this workshop. So don't forget to register our online workshop. Today is the last date to register our workshop. See you on our workshop. So moving on to our today's video, the AI chatbot what we are going to discuss today is that group A. So this is the dashboard of this group, uh, uh, group A. So here you will be having different options that research, brainstorm, analyze data, create images, coding. So first I am going to select research. So here uh, th this is how you can ask uh, with group A with your input prompts. So here you can see re this is the recent medical literature on magnesium su supplementation. This is the biggest exporter and importer of steel. This is the financial news of uh, news in South Korea, Singapore and Japan. So I am going to give research the recent <coughs> improvements, improvements in renewable energy usage in power sector. So like that I am going to give an input like this. So let us see how it will generate answer for us. So it is analyzing the content. So and it is collecting the data. The important thing in this group A, it, it won't generate content randomly or it uh, by analyzing the databases. So it will connect it with, with web and it will analyze that uh, particular data. So here thinking researching the renewable energy. So here you can see these are the 10 results found. So the top 10 results also will be showcased here. So for example, if you want to uh, see the link, uh, so you can open and you can check out this link also. This is the global, uh, global war of this renewable energy consumption power heat transport sectors increasing near 60 percentage over 2024 to 2030 so like that uh, the recent uh, published articles I have taken account so you can see all the 10 so here these are the 10 databases which is considered for this analysis so and then it is giving uh, that is content so what are the important points present in each of them so this is how uh, it will browse the databases and it will give results for you. So here uh, this is the step by step process how it will making a deep search. So th this deep search will enable uh, you to give you a better analysis and better review. So all this detail has been analyzed uh, very briefly after that. So calculating renewable energy share. So first it is researching the renewable energy after that it is calculating the renewable energy share. So here you can see all the data related with this particular uh, questions we have asked for. So here you can see that uh, summary of the uh, prompt we have asked for. Renewable energy share in global electrical energy is expected to reach 35% by 2025 up to 30% in 2023. Solar PV and wind power are driving this growth with significant policy support and cost reductions. Renewables are protected. projected to overtake coal <coughs> as the largest electricity source by 2020. 25. So next you can see the overview. So how it will give the overview. Next one is driving factors. So after the surprising shift and then you can see comprehensive analysis of recent uh, improvements in renewable energy usage in power sector. So quantitative growth in renewable energy share and then regional leadership and policy support. So technological advancements enhancing reliability and then you can see integration and grid management challenges and future outlook all these are recent trends only and then you will be having a table also so what is the improvement over the past year and the, re and the now the projected here that is here you can see it is around the usage is around trillion watt hour so total global electricity generation so how is how it has been increased and how the renewable energy share and the renewable energy generation so coal share and nuclear share so how it is sharing 
so all the a detailed uh, comprehensive literature review for that particular topic is generated so it is a fantastic option for our researchers fellow researchers in order to start your research with grow ke so especially when you are struggling to collect the data from different kinds of sources so you can use this grow ke to collect the different kinds of sources in order to generate a perfect uh, idea about your research and make a perfect literature review for you so this is how you can use this grow ke in order to generate uh, perfect content so so another important thing what you can do with grow ke is that so you can create images so here you can give uh, yeah, the input prompt so here draw a river water playing a ukel draw astronauts on the surface of the moon so for example if you are giving the default uh, thing that is present in this so it will take some time to generate the content so it will take uh, yes it is generating so astronauts on the surface of the moon having picnic in space shoots so this is how the uh, content is that is picture is generating so in moon they are having a picnic so here you can see <coughs> this is how the content is generated so like that give you your own prompt to generate images also so next uh, as like a normal chatbot so you can use it like a normal chatbot also so here you can give for example i am going to give an input to search prompts so what we often give in any of the chatbot so generate and abstract for the research paper titled iot based applications so in normal <coughs> chatbot so here um, so this is the same kind of content is generating using grow ke also so as like uh, what chat gpt do so instead of analyzing data so it is generating uh, if you have a specific details about the paper focus area finding and methodology feel free to share them i can tailor the abstract further let me know if it this works for you so the important thing in writing abstract is so all these important things there is focus area findings and methodology all <coughs> has to be implemented that is added in this particular uh, abstract so if you want to write a perfect abstract so give your input and ask group a to write abstract for you then it will write a perfect abstract for you so this is how also you can use the content here so here you can upload your files so whatever the files you want so we'll try out with some images here for example i'm going to upload this image explain the attached image like that i am going to give an input prompt yes it is uh, analyzing the content and it will give a perfect explanation for you also so you can add up your image and you can get uh, the explanation of your image also so as like chat gpt do and many of the chatbots will do so grow ka also will be one of the best option for you as a uh, research assistant for your research paper writing so other than that research paper it has plenty of options so you can go on and explore this grow ka so as far as our uh, analysis is concerned grow ka is one of the best tool which will challenge the content generated by chat gpt because many of the content generated by chat gpt are now are easily that is uh, easily find using uh, that is found using uh, by reviewers and editors especially when you are submitting your papers so even if you paraphrase them so instead of using chat gpt so you can use this kind of option and this kind of tool in order to make your content unique and content uh, precise and uh, that is narrowed content for your research paper writing so hope this video will be very helpful for you so go on and explore this crow ka so this will be one of the fantastic chatbot for your academic writing so thank you for watching our videos don't forget to subscribe our channel have a nice day thank you